is in the air. We're racing at the Glen. And the fight between the two is won early on by the 18, the preferred line. But here comes Austin Cedric on the outside. He's battling for that top spot. They are side by side into turn two. Cedric around the outside, going to give Kyle Busch a run for his money. He'll go to the lead. Busch will go to second. Christopher Bell goes back to third as they stack it up, exiting turn four, headed up the back straightaway. Oh, we got a car off the track here back there, but Kyle Busch to the outside, outbreaking Cedric. Down into the bus stop here. The, oh, the 21 here. The two, stop. The two of Reddick stop. has missed the inner loop. Had to come to a stop. He does this properly. Won't get black flag from NASCAR. He's going to resume here. Pull back into traffic almost behind the entire field. Huge mistake early in the first lap for Cendrick. Kyle Busch back to the lead. You see how big of a penalty that is for, for, for Cendrick. I'm, I'm sorry, for the two car for Kyle Reddick. That is like qualifying dead last. Gets in the fence there. Huge, huge save. A lot, of, a lot of grass on the nose of that car, though. Have to keep an eye on that. Don't want to have any overheating problems, any brake heat problems. But he's got so much debris on the car, he misses the inner loop. Reddick on pit road. I think this is the wise decision right here for the two. Dale Jr. mentioned the grass on the grill. Let's get that all cleared off. You shouldn't lose a lap as long as the laps are here at Watkins Glen. You cannot take yourself out of the race lap one. You can't compound one mistake with a second. Ten. Justin Allgaier hard into the wall. So Allgaier, one of the drivers we expected at the beginning of the season would be running for a championship. That's the worst of it. Yeah, just Ross Chastain just gets in so deep. He drives into the left rear quarter panel and then I think politely said, hey, I've already spun him, so let me spin him completely out and not spin myself out. And you see the contact with that tire barrier. And we're going to see that all day long, guys trying to outbreak each other. Team place, Custer to the inside. Look at the seven, though. He doesn't want to go by the four. Is he looking for a little payback here as they're coming through the, the inner loop? Out of the inner loop, into the carousel. What is he going to do? He gives him a little bit of bumper. Out of the A, send him. Send him into the tire barrier right there. Payback from earlier. Going to kill him. Ross Chastain in I the fence. I will kill him. I wouldn't blame him. And the green and white checkered and the caution come out. Kyle Busch will win stage one. And the battle between in at what happened. Junior called it. He was right on his back bumper. Actually gave him a little shove there. Too much momentum for the four. Sends him into the tire barriers. And Ross Chastain's day is done. Remember, he has some issues in coming to pit road to get grass off the grill. He may quite possibly have to do that again. As you see him and Cedric trying to get through that entrance to the carousel side by side all day long, guys, fighting to try to get through there and who has the right of way. More grass on the more grass on that car again. Oh, your leader, Brian Blaney, going to outbreak him. Oh, they're going to go through there side by side again. You know, it's so funny to see those guys try to accomplish something that's really impossible. Trying to get in there. Oh, Kyle Busch has a problem. Kyle Busch has a problem. Into the wall. Wall, it looks like he goes just short of it. Slides all the way to the road right before the oh, tires. Wow, of course, something happened there. Junior, you called it a problem. We saw the issue just as he came out of the yeah, inner I'm, loop. I'm looking at all four tires. They look like they're fine. You see the right front tire. I thought he might have blew a right front tire. The way that car went straight coming out of the inner loop. Here he is, fired it up, driving away. You, the right front looks good, but look at this left front tire. It's not going to turn. It's tipped the in underneath the hood, moving all that around straight. like it broke either an upper control arm or a ball joint. You see right there, it's shaking back and forth, moving inches underneath the hood of the car. Wow, that's incredible. You talked about it, Steve, at the start of the race. Watch him going over this bump, how violent it is. He actually drives the left front over that bump. That shaking of going over that curb could have broken a ball joint. Mm -hmm. You see it broken right there. All that extra camera in that left front tire, not supposed to be there. One, no longer a part of the race. Coming out of turn seven, it will be A.J. Allmendinger who's going to win stage two.
Almondinger wins stage two. Blaney finishing second. Almondinger getting all kinds of pressure here as they exit into the carousel. He gives it the bumper. Cedric on his bumper, pushes him up out of the groove, making the pass. He's going to clear. He's going to take the lead now. What, what would Almondinger do on corner exit? Did he move him far enough away? He used a bumper. That gave permission for Almondinger. Almondinger right on his rear bumper. Will he use his front bumper in six? A little bit of contact, pushing him. Moon drives him in the corner deep, drives underneath him. Got to move past Cedric. Can Cedric stay close enough to him to return the favor? Whoever has the last attempt at the bumper is going to win this one. Now he moves to the inside. The white flag is out, side by side. Cedric out in front again. Austin Cedric looking for his first ever win in the Xfinity Series. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. They dive deep into turn number one. Cedric slides into tad wide. Digger goes wider. Here they come now into turn two. Into the S's for the final time in Watkins Glen. Cedric trying to hang on to the race car. But A.J. Allman Digger is there. He is on the back bumper. This is the battle for the win. Digger wants the inside, and Cedric will not let him have it. Amazing run through the S's for Allman Digger, but Cedric pulling away toward the braking zone. AJ is not close enough to be able to do anything here in the inner loop. Through the inner loop, Cedric looks in the mirror, hoping to see some a gap between him and Al Almendinger to be able to get comfortable through this carousel. No mistakes for the 22 through the carousel on corner exit, driving away, extending that lead. Austin Cedric now has a big enough gap on Almendinger. He can just be cool, be smart. You do not have to overdrive turn six to stay far enough away from him. Job done, now set up turn seven, comes to the checker. Brian Wilson, the crew chief, made the call, brought him to pit road for fresher tires. The 20-year-old makes the final turn. He comes in front of the grandstands. He'll get his first Xfinity Series win. Austin Cedric does it at the Glen. Yeah! Thank you! Yes, I love you guys! Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job, man. Almondinger letting him know. Congratulations. First career win for Austin Sendrick. And what a battle it was. And it, Steve, everyone around the, the course actually brought this up, but turnabout fair play. If oh. you're going to use the bumper on me, I'm going to use the bumper on you. And that's how you do it. That's how you push somebody up out of the way without wrecking them. That's great hard racing. You see all the competitors congratulating Austin Sindrick. They know how much it means to get your first win. And you mentioned the call by Brian Wilson. I didn't like it. I thought, keep the track position. He did it. He knew he needed tires. He said they talked about it beforehand. And those tires are what made these moves possible for Austin Cedric. You mentioned the bumper. Well, here was the first shot right here. He moves the 10 up into the carousel. Yeah, he moved him out of the way. Perfectly fine, good racing right there. Put the chrome horn to him up out of the groove. Yeah, then down here, A.J. Amendinger putting the bumper to Cedric. And Cedric way off course, and I think now Amendinger, it's his race to win. But Amendinger drives into turn seven and misses the corner. Right here he turns and doesn't get, see right there? He had major issues, and that allowed Cedric to get the run back on him. What is it about the Glen that gives us these finishes time after time? And you see the dejection. There is A.J. Allmendinger, it was close. We'll give you a better piece. Work for with everybody. What a great battle. And remember, A.J. Allmendinger, yes, he's a part-time racer. Doesn't race a lot of races, but he does a great job broadcasting as well. He's a part of the NBC broadcast team for uh, motorsports. What a performance he put on today making this 20-year-old earn his first win in the Xfinity Series. All right, come on, Austin. You're going to have to give us a better burnout than that one at the start-finish line. Let's see some celebration. There you go. Well, I give him an A-plus for the drive on the racetrack. What about a... <laughs> B minus for a celebration. Be careful. But, no Be careful. But listen, look, <laughs> think about the, the pressure of this young man taking over this ride full time for Penske, right? And Penske is expected to win. 
and win at the Xfinity level. They've had other drivers, they had Ryan Blaney in the car today, you know, in the second car today, trying to help Austin Sindrick kind of mature and learn what he needs. We knew he was going to be good today with his road racing experience, and he proved it by beating one of the best, A.J. Allmendinger. Don't let it surprise you when Austin Sindrick gets out of the car here at the start-finish line. He is not your typical driver build. Austin Sindrick is tall. Yeah. He's about six feet, three inches tall, way taller than virtually every other driver he's racing against, and now he's going to celebrate with that team.